Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, while I was I was googling feed pics and I stumbled across this article. It's on Forbes. It's by Paul Tassie. It's talking about Cyberpunk 2077's way off schedule for a no man's sky style comeback. So for those of you who aren't familiar it's No Man's Sky. Basically, it's a game that uh, is very innovative. It's like a space. It's like Minecraft, but in space. And you can travel pretty much anywhere. Different planets, everything. It was a super cool idea, and it was a game recently I was thinking about playing. It had a terrible launch, to my understanding. Long story short, they completely fixed the game and made it into pretty much what it was supposed to be. That's pretty much what this article is talking about, is using this analogy for the No Man's Sky style comeback. Again, No Man's Sky had a failed launch, just like Cyberpunk did, and after the game was out, they did updates and made the game what it was supposed to be at launch. So, scrolling down here, um, so it says, as we sit around and wait, for Cyberpunk 2077 to announce something. Anything about free DLC or upcoming next gen versions of the game, both of which are supposed to arrive soon. I want to flash back to something many people said about the game near launch. And again, this is where they get into about the No Man's Sky. The idea was that it would be possible for Cyberpunk 2077 to pull a No Man's Sky style turnaround, fix itself, and fulfill its broken promises by CPR. Those are the, they're the developers of the game, putting its head down and delivering the results. This is one explanation why CDPR was so quiet through the long, though the longer this goes, the more we can see that Cyberpunk is actually pretty far off schedule for something like this happening. I mean, this is, this is just my opinion. And from what I understand, Cyberpunk 2077, it took, I mean, this was like, like eight years ago from its release is when they started. Like they were eight years in the process of this. And I don't think games are worked on that much. I don't know about GTA 5, I don't know how long that was. I want to say it was like maybe six years, but even then, you know, I don't think it was ever heard of of a game being taken that long to be developed and worked on. So, I mean, eight years for a game, you would have expected it to be the best thing ever at launch. It was shocking, very shocking, how bad the, how bad it was from the beginning. I, it was one of the game. it was a game that I was excited for, I couldn't wait to play. It was like, you know, retro, but futuristic at the same time. I really hope the game gets better. According to this article, it seems like it's going to be a while before it fixes itself, and I'm going to wait to play it until it's fixed. I, I had the game, pre-ordered it, bought it, it was downloaded, and I, for some reason, I, I wasn't able to play it from the, at the release date. And immediately I was already seeing how terrible it was. And I was like, I'm not playing it, I'm not touching it. I don't want to ruin experience playing the game. So, okay, so right here. And it has now been eight months since its release, but its only additions have been hot fixes and patches that are 99% bug fixes and performance improvements. No substantive structural changes have been made to the game, nor significant content additions. Still no release date for DLC or even any previews for it. So this right here, it's its only additions have been 99% pop fixes and patches and 99% bug fixes and performance improvements. Oh, this is interesting. In short, No Man's Sky, for all that downtime it needed to fix itself, already had two major additions out by now. In Cyberpunk 2020, 2077's free DLC is going to be fairly minor. Mostly new cosmetics or weapons with a few new side missions. Major expansions will not come until next year at the earliest. I don't even think it'll be next year. I, I think they still need to make the base game playable. That's my opinion. Make that playable first. Well, yeah, up here it's saying all that downtime it needed to fix itself. They already had two major additions out. Well, I mean, if the game's broken, you can't really have fun with the DLC, so. And I, I think I, I even find it, they get a lot of negative feedback. 
uh, if the game wasn't where it was supposed to be and they were pushing out DLC, like fix the base game first. In short, Cyberpunk 2077 is behind repair schedule for almost every other game you can compare it with. Eight months after launch, the game has been declared has been declared stable enough to be acceptable by CDPR. But that has been the entirety of what they've worked on so far. Stability, performance, quest bug fixes, and extremely minor things like altering police spawns and changing vendor inventories. Maybe that means something. To you guys, I don't know. We'll see if the free DLC gets here soon and can surprise us by being more in depth than we think, but we will be waiting well over a year for any major expansions to be. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think it'll be a while. And I don't. Ah, like eight months after launch, the game has been declared stable enough to be accepted by CDPR. I don't know. Let me know what you all think about that. Eight months after launch, and it's good enough to play now. Then you have like eight years working on the game. It's, it just frustrates me because I really wanted Cyberpunk to do well. Like I could, I as soon as I heard about the game, because that would have been, I, I would have been even more mad. I found out about it eight years ago when it was first announced. Maybe it was even longer than they were it. They announced it eight years ago. I'm gonna look that up actually. Wow. Okay, according to this, though the game was likely in development a bit before this, so we guess 2011 is the likely earliest year development started. That's roughly nine years. Nine years. Alright, let's see how long GTA. Cause I think GTA was a lot. 2008, and it came out in 2013. I don't know, maybe there's been games that it's, it's taken longer than uh, nine years to develop, but it's frustrating, very frustrating. But uh, since, you know, I wanted to try and move into uh, gaming news on the channel, um, just talk about current events with gaming and stuff. I saw this article today and I was like, yeah, maybe I'll cover it. I don't know. Let me know what you all think. Do you all think Cyberpunk can make a No Man's Sky return? I'm curious what you all think. Me personally, um, I hope it does. But after the launch they had, my expectations are super low. So it's possible I may never even play the game. I wanted to wait till it's all good. And put, well, plus, I don't even have my a PS5 yet. Still can't get my hands on one. That's also a reason I didn't want to play it on the PS4. They probably didn't even fix anything on there, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I'm out. Peace.